What's up guys, it's me, Farwild, and today I'm going through uh, Zenith, um, in my opinion, has to be the worst mm. map in the entire game um, of Halo 2 Anniversary. As you can see here, we're playing Juggernaut. Um, basically, mm. Juggernaut and FFA are basically the same. Um, so, I don't want you guys to um, take any... Um, uh, take any uh, it doesn't make too much difference. But I'm just starting it halfway through here because I have a quite a bad start and not much good to show you guys. So, we're starting off here. And um, so, if you are voted into Zenith, and uh, honestly, I do not recommend Zenith. Zenith is a terrible, terrible map. Um, but if you are voted into Zenith, there are um, the power weapons. You can uh, you see here, I've got the sniper rifle. They spawn at where I picked one up and also uh, out of the teleporter. Um, there, the shotgun also spawns on the teleporter. Uh, and the rockets spawn on the leap of faith. Um, if you know what that is, that's near Sniper's Nest. Um, so you're looking at, obviously, in a map, on a map like this map, with the sniper rifle, you want to get power positions, because you can then, especially in Juggernaut, pick people off at range. Now, the um, sniper rifle no. <laughs> will do you justice from range. Absolutely clinical weapon. And the two areas that are um, contested, well, the area that's contested in both has to be Sniper's Nest, which is actually uh, near where I just was. Um, no. Uh, but yeah, uh, near where I just was. Um, so you want to, you want that is an eagerly contested area. And to be honest, I think that this big tower here is actually better, a better area than the um, uh, than the sniper's nest. Um, simply because you have far more cover and less people actually go there. I mean, rockets, obviously rockets, quite easily can shoot to the sniper's nest. But you know what? Um, I, I recommend big tower. So this is where rockets spawn, by the way. Um, yeah, I recommend Big Tower. So, in FFA, um, you kill the enemy players, but in Juggernaut, you're on a team with everyone until you become the Juggernaut. So, um, on Juggernaut, on this map, uh, what do I suggest? Well, ju play to your strengths. I, I normally say play to your strengths. If you're good at something, exploit it. Make yourself, make yourself the best at it. So, you can see here, I'm Big Tower, I'm the Juggernaut, I pick up the shotgun. Now, the shotgun in here is absolutely phenomenal. Look at this range on that. And you have rechargeable overshields which is massive I mean rechargeable overshields with the shotgun on this uh, on this is absolutely crazy and these guys just they have to attack they have to attack me because because there's obviously no armor abilities there's no way of actually jumping up I don't think um, and uh, as you can see I'm guarding myself from the sniper rifle from if someone's sniping at crow's nest um, sniper nest because of um, the stairs are in the way I want that. Uh, no, that's not it. See, I, but see, I knew there was a sniper up there, but I, I got pushed out into the open, so I had to um, had to uh, move there and <laughs> got taken up for the double. Now, the, uh, the battle rifle on this map is uh, the battle rifle and the snipers are amazing on this map purely because of how open it is. I do recommend grabbing a uh, sniper rifle right off the start, and if you can't, a BR's always handy. Um, a BR dominates the uh, SMG from range, um, unless you're dual wielding, of course, where. Uh, the uh, the SMG is pretty good. Um, as I fall off the map for the second time there. Um, so, as I was saying, power positions are sniper. Uh, I'd actually just say it's the big tower. Crow's nest, uh, sniper's nest is a good spot to be in. However, it is m really quite open and it is a heavily contested area. Now, I do it earlier in this gameplay. I didn't do it then for some reason, but. If you know someone has a sniper rifle and they're sitting up there, activate that little shield thing that puts the um uh, the the centre bit up because then you can't be shot anywhere through it. As you can see here, I'm going to snipe with um uh, to big tower, trying to rack up kills. Um, you can only get kills, uh, you only can get points when you're the juggernaut. Uh, just want to make you uh, make you sure you guys remember that. Um, otherwise, you can't actually get kills. Um, but yeah. Just play, uh, you can see these overshields actually come into play massively with me picking up the double. And I think I've got a really nice snipe coming up. Uh, I think it's right about, no, uh, not yet. Um, but yeah, control the big towers. And I, I, I'm not sure if the Juggernaut gets a damage boost or not. I, I'm not really sure what this screen actually tells me. Like It's all it's going red and stuff. In Halo 4, that meant that the uh, you got some sort of uh, damage buff. But I don't think that actually comes into play on this game. I think this is the snipe kind of bang. That was a nice one around the corner. Um, uh, but yeah, basically FFA and Juggernaut play very similarly. Basically, control power positions on Zenith. 
Then if the sniper is uh, pretty dominant because of the range, obviously grab a BR if you have not got a sniper. Uh, if you've also got a shotgun, Big Tower is your place to be. Use the teleporter wisely, and I never, uh, never run across top mid. That is stupid, unless the shield's up, in which case you are entitled to because, uh, well, the shield's up, so you're not going to get sniped from across the map. As you can see, I've become Juggernaut again. You instantly gain your overshields, which is actually fantastic. I didn't. Uh, it's actually amazing how quickly you gain the overshield. But um, as you see, I'm going to close out this game here with the shotgun in the snipe tower. I'll probably only do one or two on Zenith. I'll probably end up doing a Team Slayer one um, because I really dislike Zenith, and I'm sure you guys do as well. It's just so unbalanced. Um, but you know, it is a voted map, so I do have. Uh, I do feel like I have to cover it. Um, as part of this series, but this is the first FFA one. I hope you have enjoyed guys like subscribe Twitter and Twitch and I'll see you guys all next time Peace out